Hey guys, so it's Saturday and it's the first time I'm vlogging as part of a weekly vlog instead of daily. Uh, it won't be a full week really though because I want to upload on Wednesdays. So there's really only going to be footage from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Assuming I vlog every day. I wasn't really going to vlog today and then I was like, you know what? I feel like I should record a little something. So we're just chilling here at home and we're going to watch The Maze Runner. And I went and got us some treats. These are, I guess, our Valentine's snacks. I got a... French vanilla and then I added mint chocolate as a flavoring and what's cool is they also have pumpkin spice as a flavoring you can get pumpkin spice latte all year round pretty much at Tim Hortons it's different than the Starbucks one but still really good I once had them put it into a, a French vanilla and it was so good anyway and Christian got his extra large coffee da, 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 dark roast nice nice and then 20 Timbits 20 assorted ones look they're all wearing scarves so that's our Valentine's Day treat. And we're gonna watch The Maze Runner, which I'm really excited to watch. Like, I don't know. I just ever, I saw, I think half of a trailer or something and it looked really good. So now I wanna see it, so yes. Oh my, what I hate is they always have this one on the box, the little cherry filled one, but nowhere makes those anymore. Like, I don't know, if, they must have some Tim Hortons somewhere that still makes these, otherwise it wouldn't be on the box. They, pro they probably do it to make the box look a little more interesting, but you can't actually get jelly-filled ones. That's dumb. But it still looks good. Maze Runner left so many unanswered questions. I'm tempted to read the books now, or should I just hold off till the next movie? I don't know. Next movie comes out in September. I have so many Outlander books though, and I didn't even finish reading Wicked. So I'm like, Bales, you can hold off. <gasps> Christian, audiobooks, yes. I'm gonna to listen to the audiobooks at work. You listen to the audiobooks with Maze Runner. Yep, Magic Conch Shell just said yes. What? <laughs> Christian's playing on the apps on my phone. He has the Magic Conch Shell one. But yeah, because I mean, a lot of times I don't have time to read a million books, but when I'm at work, I'm just on a computer all day, so I can put on audiobooks. And I'm almost through Game of Thrones. I'm on the last part of the last book. So I, I still have like almost eight hours of book left, but it's. That's how long the audiobooks are, but yeah, maybe I'll do Maze Runner audiobooks and that'll help me get through the first one too because like when you read a book after you watch the movie It's really hard to get through it because of, like you know everything like most of what happens But I don't want to jump to the second one because the books are different and sometimes there's like extra characters and extra events And so like you don't want to miss out on anything so yeah, I know what I'm gonna listen to once I'm through Game of Thrones, or even before. And I, I listened to Divergent, and I started Insurgent, and then I didn't finish it, so I, I need to finish that series too. So much. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's enough footage for today. Like, the, the amount I talk, I don't think weekly vlogs is even gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna be twice a week, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, and sadly we did not win anything on our Tim Hortons cups. Because with Tim Hortons, once a year they do this roll up the rim thing and people go nuts for it. You can win like a car, you could win free coffee or donuts, you could win a TV. I know in high school one of the girls in our class won a barbecue. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so, and this year, hey Christian, have they ever had two roll up the rims before? Or is that new just this year? Uh, as far as I know, that's new this year. Yeah, I've never seen it before. It's like roll up the rim on this side and then you get a bonus roll on the other side, but neither of us won anything. <sighs> Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Monday and yesterday just, I feel like yesterday didn't even exist almost. I didn't vlog anything yesterday. I was going to, but we ended up leaving unexpectedly. But um, I'm frustrated because I didn't get my chores done that I wanted to do yesterday. I wanted to like do laundry, clean the bathroom, all that kind of stuff I usually actually do on Friday, but I didn't end up having time on Friday. So yesterday was just kind of, well, Christian had a friend over and we were playing Settlers and all that kind of stuff and I was working on some art stuff. And then I got this message on Facebook from Christian's aunt and she was like, oh, you guys should come over around five tonight. And I was like, tonight? Because we had plans to have dinner with them next weekend. So Christian checks this text from her. Yeah, it said February 22nd. And I'm like, so is it tonight or February 22nd? But like, um, Christian didn't get a response from her. So we just like go over there. We're like, oh, well, we hope it's tonight. Like she said tonight. So obviously she has food prepared for tonight. And they did. So tonight was the night and they, accidentally told us the 22nd but it was kind of just like 
okay we gotta go sort of thing get ready and go and so we had dinner at his uncle and aunt's place and I love going over there because they're just really nice people and um I don't know, it's always a good time and good food, and so it was really nice. Christian's cousins, because his uncle and aunt have two daughters, neither of them were there because one moved out of the city and then the other one is at, some, at a conference. So I didn't get to see them, but I got to see a different cousin of Christian's who was visiting in town and his girlfriend, and yeah, so it was still pretty cool. Oh, and I saw one of his cousin's husbands. Like, there's still people there, you know, like. So anyway, it was a good time, and... We were there all night. We left at like 1 a.m. And so that was my day yesterday. So I decided to actually shower and get dressed and I'm gonna head over to Michael's because I was looking around my desk and I've been thinking about this for a few days. And I feel like I wanna change up my whole wall here. And I might tweak this one too. Um, so. What I want to do, I just feel like there's too many posters, like, I feel like it's almost a little tacky and I want to sort of streamline it. So I'm going to take a bunch of these down and I don't know what I'm going to do with them, like they might not get put back up anywhere, maybe in the future I'll find a place for them somewhere, but for now I'm going to take them down. I want to keep Link, I don't know where I'm going to put Link, but I'm going to frame him, if I can find a frame. I want to get poster frames for... Beauty and the Beast and the Elsa one because they just get destroyed all the time and so I'm just going to put them in frames. Nothing fancy. There's, they're not going to be matted because they're already so huge. It's going to be just a frame. And then I'm ordering a big print off Society6 and I want it to go on this big wall here but I don't know what size I want. Like I want the bigger size but on Society6 they don't offer to frame that size. They only frame the large, not extra large. And so I was like, well, custom framing at Michael's is like ridiculous. I'd have to try to find someplace else and I feel like it's not really worth the money. So I'm gonna see what I can find for frames. If See if, see if Michael's has frames that aren't the custom framing ones that will fit the largest print size. And if not, I'm gonna see what their prices are on frames that would fit the large instead of the extra large because the frame on Society6 is pretty expensive. It's making my order like a hundred dollars more. <laughs> so I'm like, well, if I can frame it myself at Michael's for less than a hundred dollars, then I might do that instead. So I'm going to see what they have for this Society6 print. I might just order the framed one off Society6. We'll see. But I'm just going to see what they have and then try to get the poster frames, potentially one for Link. And I also kind of want to frame this one, this picture here. The signed Tom Felton print. I also have this one, <laughs> but I don't know if I want to frame this and display it because I don't. I'm not like a huge fan of how this picture turned out, so I don't know. That might just stay there in the cupboard. So I wrote down the dimensions of everything I'm considering getting framed, and the two potential print sizes from Society Six that I want to throw up on the wall. Throw up on the wall. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And uh, so I'm just going to go to Michael's, see what they have. All their frames, well, I don't know about all of them, but a bunch of them are on sale 50% off. Plus I have a 40% off coupon that I'm bringing, so I'm just going to see what they have. And I want white frames, so if there's something that only comes in black or brown or something, I can just paint it. So that's my plan, and I'm going to head out and just see what they have. I feel like today is going to be a full-length vlog, but that's good because I'm not filming a full week. I'm only filming, like... Saturday through Tuesday because I want to upload the daily vlog or the weekly vlogs on Wednesday so that means this first week is not actually a full week okay enough blabbing let's go so I feel like an idiot because I was gonna vlog in Michaels and then I forgot to even like I didn't even think of my camera at all I was so focused on <clears throat> all the different frames available and stuff and I, I was on my way back on the bus and I was just like Oh, I forgot to film. I mean, it wouldn't have been that exciting anyway. It would have been, it would have been me being like, hmm, do I want this frame or this frame? So it's not like I was even looking at art supplies. So I'll show you guys what I ended up getting. And I ended up getting something for everything. Like everything I wanted to frame so far, I got something for it. So let me just show you what I got. So for the Harry Potter picture, 
I have this frame. I was debating whether or not to get black because it's a dark overall picture, but I decided I want my frames to match, and who knows, maybe I'll swap out the picture one day. So I got a white frame, and all of these were 50% off, so that was awesome. This one is a little plain. Um, it's for the Link poster, the 11 by 17. Unfortunately, it's not white, so I might paint this one. And um, I was thinking of getting an actual frame, but there were only two 11 by 17 frames that were the 50% off ones, one in black, one in white, but they were 55 bucks. And I'm like, that's like over $25 spent on just the frame. The link print is not that important to me, so I just got a poster frame instead. So that's for link. And then for the picture I'm getting off Society6, I got an actual frame. This is really heavy. It's a wooden, or whatever, I don't know what it is, but um, very heavy. I carried this all back on public transit, on the bus and on the train, and then walking back to my apartment. It was so heavy. <sighs> well, these ones are pretty light, but this sucker, heavy. And so this is the same size I would have gotten if I got a, it framed on Society6. Because like I said, they don't frame the extra large. They only frame up to large. So I couldn't even find a frame big enough. Unless I got like a poster frame for the biggest one I wanted. And still it would be cut off a bit. So wait, where am I? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I want it matted. That's why I decided to just go a bit smaller. And it's not actually matted, but in a way it is. So this is... You can see the lip on the frame, and then the frame itself is like a mat. There's no mat inside of it. It's like built into the frame, so that's pretty cool. So the artwork will fit perfectly because it's an 18 by 24 inch photo, so it will fit perfectly. So, so happy with that because it would have cost me so much more. So this is regular 80. I got it for $40, and it would have cost me like 100 extra bucks to get it framed on Society6. So saved myself 60 bucks there. And then these poster frames are for the Beauty and the Beast poster and the Frozen poster. Don't know if I'm going to keep them in these same spots. Because I feel like that will look stupid next to the print I'm getting, but I don't know. It might look okay. I'm not sure. But I'm going to frame these suckas. And Elsa is actually a weird dimension. She's more like 22 by 30 something else I forget it was different though and they did have poster frames that were about the right size but it was black and I didn't feel like painting the big one so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get two of the same one in white and Elsa will just have like a bit of crack showing on the side or something that is that and I got everything I want although I'm not gonna start hanging all this up yet because I have some chores to get done like my laundry and bathroom cleaning so I'm just gonna leave this for now Get my work done and then I'll start peeling stuff off the walls and flying it all out. Oh, and I have to order the Society 6 print. I'll do that right now. But what's sucky is I wanted to do my workstation tour next Friday, not this coming Friday. Can you stop? Anyway, in like a week and a half, I wanted to do my workstation video, but I'm gonna have to push it back further because it will take three to four weeks for me to get to my stuff from Society 6. So, mm hmm. Okay, so I'm all caught up on my chores, although I haven't folded the laundry yet, so really I'm not done. But <laughs> I have my stuff in frames. Oh, it's dark in here. So here's a Beauty and the Beast one. I don't know why I didn't do this ages ago, because these have been so damaged, and there's places where tape is stuck to it and ripped off some of the color, but yeah, that is much better. Elsa is a bit small for her frame, but I just flipped over Ooh, banging stuff. I just flipped over the stock image and flipped it, so it just adds a bit more of white border around it, but I think it still looks pretty good. So, yeah, there's Elsa. She's now too big for the wall because the picture just barely fit there, and then with a frame, it's now too big, but I might still hang it there because we have so many windows. Like, there's a window, there's a window, there's a window. Where am I supposed to hang up all my stuff? So I might just still put it back where it was and put Belle where she was and put the one I'm getting off Society6 on here. So I still need to take down some of these guys. Then I have my Harry Potter Tom Felton picture. Oh, yes, I love it. I think it looks really good in this white frame. So no regrets there. And then Link, I'm actually in the process of painting. It's just a poster frame. And I'm in the process of painting it, so that's not attached. And then this is for that society six as I've already said. So it's coming along. It's coming.
coming along. I got links done. I painted the edges all white, put it back together. So he's in a thingy. Oh, I love it. Now I just have to wait for the print to come into the mail, which will take a long time, which will make me sad. So I've been debating whether or not to do this, and I think I'm gonna do this. I was gonna upload the bail mail tomorrow, Tuesday, but I might hold off and upload it Friday as my Friday video, just because I feel like I'm not gonna have enough time to do a speed paint video, because I'm behind, because this weekend was just an anomaly. And especially with my with not having a spare battery, I have to stop constantly to charge my battery. So I'm thinking just kind of push everything back, especially also because my workstation video, I need to postpone that. So if I can put bail mail this Friday and then bump down the speed paint one week, bump down workstation one or two weeks, um, yeah, that might be what I need to do. And that also works with something I just found out I'll be doing. Let's just say secret project number two is underway. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad with my first secret project, which was the Daily Bumps intro that I did. And it looks like I might be doing a second project that I consider to be a secret project. So that could be a thing. So I need to get my button gear and really be on top of things. Hey guys, so it's Thursday and I just got back from work. I'm so sad because my phone ringer, which you just heard, is no longer the Poe sound because I synced my phone to my desktop's iTunes library, iTunes library, and it used to be synced to my laptop, which I don't use anymore. So I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna sync it to my desktop and then I'll deal with the music later because there's some songs that didn't transfer over. And one of the things that didn't transfer over was my Poe ringtone, which I made like there's a way to get your own custom ringtones on iPhones and I made one and now my phone just makes a dumb dinging sound instead of my Poe sound but I just have to copy the files over from my laptop I just haven't gotten around to it but tonight I'm working on secret project number two um and I don't think I'm gonna tell you guys anything I don't I'm not gonna tell you who it's for uh, or what it is all you'll know is that it's an animated Thing. You know, like when I did the Daily Bumps intro, I was animating the intro, and so I'm doing a different animated project, and that's all you're gonna hear about it. <laughs> and I'm gonna be animating in Toon Boom this time, and so I'm gonna build rigs in Toon Boom instead of just, before I just drew stuff in Photoshop and then threw it together in After Effects, but using Toon Boom will make animation a lot easier and I can get better looking animation. It's just, it'll be vector animation. I I mean, with 2D, 2D animation overall, I'm not the best because I was trained in 3D animation and we did have some 2D animation classes in school. We had two traditional 2D animation classes and I took two Toon Boom vector animation classes. I think that was it for 2D, but um, yeah. So I just gotta kind of refresh myself on Toon Boom. I was listening to some tutorials while I was at work today just to refresh myself. And so tonight I think I'm actually gonna finish up those stickers, well like do as much on the stickers as I can. And then tomorrow will be any remnants of stickers that I don't finish. And then start building rigs for secret project number two. And so yeah, I'm gonna be busy as heck. So there's that. So I'm just gonna work on that all night. Oh, and one more thing about secret project number two. I'm gonna film a behind the scenes kind of like last time. Hopefully I can record more footage this time because last time I just, it was kind of all over the place when I was recording. So I wanna keep the behind the scenes more in mind and make a cool video or just, I don't know, just like a process of how it came to be just you know, it's another video I can throw up on my channel and I'm sure people will be curious to know how I did it. So, yes, okay, gotta do my stickers now. Gotta go. Hey, if I step really late, I could probably get both sticker sheets done tonight. Oh, that is lofty. That is, it could happen. It could happen. Let's do it. I just washed my makeup off, so ignore my gross face. <laughs> okay, I don't think the secret project is a secret. <laughs> So I think I can just tell you what it is, cause he tweeted it. <laughs> it's just a new intro for Daily Bumps. 
<laughs> he tweeted, we have an updated intro in the works. So I'm like, okay, I guess I can say I'm the one working on it. It's kind of obvious because he even said it's the same characters, but a different format. So yes, <laughs> it's another Daily Books intro. And yeah, I guess that's all I really need to say about it. <laughs> Here's my progress on the stuff. Um, I got this one inked and not yet colored. And the other one's not even inked. The other one's the mermaid ones. I got a ways to go yet. But I think I'm gonna do the inking on this one next before I color the other one because I feel like the inking is the tedious part of it. At least digitally, I just get, I don't like inking digitally, so um, if I just get through this and then coloring will be a breeze and it'll be great. So it's 11.30, my goal is to at least have the inking done tonight and then coloring will be so fast tomorrow morning so <laughs> la, la, la. anyway i think i'm gonna end the vlog here so thanks for watching and it's weird i can say see you tomorrow because oh no it, i guess at the if it's between days it makes sense for me to say because i'll like see you tomorrow and then i start the next clip the next day but if it's the last vlog of the week i guess i gotta say see you next week or like something anyway Good night, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Why do they insist on sending me a massive catalog every time? I actually kind of wish I kept my old catalog, but I threw it out. Dang, they got all kinds of stuff. Maybe I will keep this one. Envelopes. <gasps> yeah. I mean, it's easy to check online, but this is kind of handy too. So maybe I will keep it because it 